All right, here's the answers for uh, Tape Diagram Tuesday for January 28th. And I'm just going to walk through how we do uh, our, a way for how to model each of these uh, problems. So let's get started. And so we're going to start with, you know, this one. Okay, so we've got our early elementary. It's nine dogs were playing at the park. Some more dogs came to the park. And then there were 11 dogs. How many more dogs came to the park? So the idea is we're going to want to start with um, an answer sentence. And our answer sentence, in this case, we're going to leave a blank uh, in that where... So we're going to say, how many more dogs came to the park? Uh, 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 let's do blank more dogs came to the park. All right. We want to start with that answer sentence. That is so important that we begin with an answer sentence. Uh, and um, Because otherwise, if they don't even know what the, what the answer statement is, then there's no sense in going, in going on and doing the math, right? So my picture, it says, okay, nine dogs were playing at the park. So here it is. There's my nine dogs. Nine dogs dogs. And notice I'm, I'm trying to do labels here. I, I don't know if I'm always going to do labels, but I am in this problem anyway. Then it says some more dogs came to the park. So let's do some more dogs. Do we know how many dogs? No, some more. And there's our um, question mark. How many dogs? I don't know. How Some more dogs came to the park. And then it says over here, then there were 11 dogs. So now we know that this whole thing represents 11 dogs dogs and there's my there's my model for this wonderful um, k2 problem and of course if we want students to be doing the work what are they going to do oh they might do 9 plus what equals 11 or they might do 11 minus 9 which is in this case equal to 2 so of course we know that the answer is 2 dogs so we're going to put 2 more dogs so same idea, only now we're going to uh, kind of dig into, whoa, into the upper middle, uh, upper elementary. So it says a bucket contained five and three quarters inches of water. After two days evaporating in the sun, it contained one and seven eighths inches. How many inches of water evaporated in the two days? All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to say how many inches of water, um, uh, let's see, we would put, let's say, Blank inches of water evaporated in two days. All right. Boom. There's our answer sentence. And then let's go digging into the problem, right? It says, so a bucket contained five and three quarters inches of water. And then after two days evaporating in the sun, it contained. Okay, so the idea is it started with five and three quarters inches. Uh, let's get that in there. Inches. All right, there it is, inches. And then it says after uh, two days evaporating in the sun, it contained one and seven-eighths inches. So what we're going to do is, I don't know what I'll do. Let's, let's, let's do, okay, it evaporates. And we don't know how much it evaporates, but we sure do know that there remains one and seven-eighths inches left over. So this part, we don't know how much. So there is our tape diagram, and now, of course, we've got our expression. This is another, just like the previous problem, it's a part, part, whole, isn't it? So it's like one and seven-eighths plus what gives us five and three-quarters, or we could do five and three-quarters, subtract one and seven-eighths, gives us our missing answer. And then uh, a ribbon is cut into three pieces, A, B, C. In the ratio of 1 to 2 to 4, if C is longer than B by 16, <laughs> call me if you can. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. <laughs> That's supposed to be right here, call me when you can. Oh, my goodness, I forgot. That was, it's supposed to be uh, centimeters. So it's call, uh, 16 centimeters 
<laughs> not call me if you can. Oh, my goodness. Uh, 16 centimeters. So we're going to cross that off. Uh, find the original length. Okay. And, and so in this case, we've got A, B, and C. And they're cut into the ratios of 1 to 2 to 4. There's our ratio, 1 to 2 to 4. And it says C is longer than B by 16 centimeters. So right there is 16 centimeters. And since we know that that is our, uh, our difference, so we know that 2 units is equal to 16 centimeters, that means this guy's 8, this guy's 8. That means they're all 8s. And the question is find the original length of the ribbon. So that's asking us what is the entire length of the ribbon. So all we have to do is multiply 8 times 7 because we have 7 units. And that's going to give us 56 centimeters. So this one we've got a farmer with uh, goats and sheep. Right? And we don't know how many goats there are, so I'll just draw a picture like that. And we don't know how many sheep there are, so I'll draw a picture like that. But we do know that all together there is 284 total, 284 goats and sheep. And then we're told that uh, if he sells half of his sheep, so that's this much, and he purchases 36 more sheep, there's my 36, that we now have a ratio of th uh, one to three, as in one goat and three sheep. So what that means is here's our goat right here. That's our half a goat, which means here's our one, two, and this whole thing is supposed to be three right there. One, two, and three. So when you're looking at this picture, what I'm seeing is, technically, before he sold his goats and before he purchased the extra 36 sheep, we had this unit, this unit, this unit, this unit, and this portion right here, this portion of the unit, not this extra part. And that equaled 284. So now, if we imagined this half a goat still being there, plus the extra 36, we see that we now have, we can think of it as five copies of a half goat. And that is equal to the original 284 plus the extra 36 sheep. See, this, these five half goat units, that's this right here, is equal to the original 284 plus this extra 36. So now that we know that five copies of that half goat unit, <laughs> that's such a weird unit, weird thing to say. So that means that's equal to 300, what is that, 320? So five copies of the half goat unit is equal to uh, 320, that means one half goat unit, when I'm talking about a half goat unit, I mean one of these, one half goat unit is equal to, I don't know what, 64. So that means, that means there were originally 128 goats. And since we knew that there used to be 284 animals, I take away 128, do a little math, that means there were 156 sheep. Now, folks, I ain't going to lie here. This problem was sneaky. For me, the big breakthrough was to recognize that that nothing really, even though we sold half the goats and we added 36 sheep, that ultimately that resulting picture really meant the original 284 plus an extra 36. That's kind of what that, that was my breakthrough right there. So uh, I hope you're having fun with all these Tape Diagram Tuesday problems and uh, share them with your friends.